What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Exact being accused of cheating yet again, but this time it's not from Call of Shame, it's from Tino RW. So, let's crack on with the news. We all know recently Call of Shame called out Exact for cheating in Call of Duty Warzone. In fact, they put together quite a nice timeline showcasing the fact that Exact had played with Wagnificent in the past, and we all know Wagnificent being banned. Also showcasing a moment where he absolutely lasered Tim the Tapman out the sky. Tim the Tapman calls hacks, realized it was Exact, but then even after the realization of it being another streamer, he claims to understand why people believe streamers cheat. Exact actually done a response video to this, well a reaction video to it, and in his reaction he was reacting in a way that many people believe to show signs of guilt, from his mannerisms, his expressions, and just his general response to the video. For you guys who do want to see Exact's response, it is linked in the description below. However, today we're going to be taking a look at what Tino RW had to say about Exact. Tino RW isn't somebody who just goes and reiterates the things that have already been said or talks over the points that have already been made on the same clips, no. He does a little bit of digging and he's gone out of his way and found more things to sort of relate to Exact potentially being a cheater in Call of Duty Warzone. And he's gone into a lot of detail about it, so he's given us permission to run his video through on this news channel today. So we're going to run that through for you now so you can see exactly what Tino RW had to say about Exact whether or not he's cheating in Call of Duty Warzone. Yo, what is up guys? It's Tino bringing you another video today and today we're talking about Exact yet again because his editor actually reached out to me and it felt like I was just using one or two clips to actually say that he was cheating and he wants me to deep dive more into his gameplay to see if I can actually find anything else that can prove that he's cheating. So that's exactly what I'm doing today for you guys. I'm deep diving more into his gameplay and I'm actually gonna go back and touch on some stuff that I left out in the last video. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time right now with this intro, let's jump straight into it. Now for a regular person just watching that for the gameplay, that's totally normal. But look closer. Now if you look closer, you can see the white dot is actually on this player and it's actually stuck on this player for a couple of frames. What had happened is this player jumped down and broke his legs and ended up sliding, which was very unpredictable. But Zach's white dot actually stays on this player for the duration of the fall and slide the entire time. Not something that anyone could have predict, but, but, his, but his white dot magically just stays to that same spot the entire time. And now we continue. Same as before, you watch his white dot attached to the player and just follows him for a couple of friends and then he aims down sight and then kills him. On to the next clip. Zoom in. Slow it down. It's like he has aim assist on steroids. If you don't think this is sticky aim, his white dot, and when I said sticky aim, I'm not saying that's just like a new thing. I'm saying that his aim is just very sticky. It, it's, it's, it literally his white dot sticks onto people. And if you don't think it sticks onto people, then look at that first clip and you cannot deny that that guy just fell out of the sky and his white dot just stucks onto this player for the whole fall until he dies. through your video yes i looked through the entire video but i'm not going to talk about the entire video for the reason that they're not going to slip up the entire video because what we're looking for when it comes to these clips of aimbot is over toggling and toggling too early but yo let's look at this real quick this is kind of interesting uh, right one, right dead behind me dennis behind your right or some shit on nick Where? maybe i i don't fucking know i got fried Where from that angle 
Tim just died by a rage hacker. And if you watch that game, go back and watch that video. That was a rage hacker. He was shooting nothing but headshots that entire game. Let's see if Exact actually killed faster than that guy. Uh, right one, right seven, behind uh, me, Dennis, thing. behind your right or some uh, shit? I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty close. But who do you think won? So that you know that it was an even match. I'm gonna play it frame by frame so you can see that they, that they start losing health at the exact same time. As you can see, they're losing health at the exact same time. So let's see who wins. Pretty fucking close right there. And actually the hacker is about to kill him. Exact wins! Exact wins! What? What? And the hacker just killed him after Exact. Exact beat the hacker. Not only that he killed faster than a hacker, but he killed faster than a rage hacker shooting headshots. And not only that he killed faster than a rage hacker shooting headshots, he killed faster than a rage hacker shooting headshots, but Exact was further away. Exact was like 200 meters away. So not only that he shot him from 200 meters away and killed faster than a hacker shooting headshots only, which means not only that he killed faster than a hacker shooting headshots only from 200 meters away, that means he was shooting headshots only from 200 meters away only. Because that's the only way. You gonna kill him faster than a hacker shooting headshots only from that far away. I hope you guys got what I just said. I hope you guys understood what I just said. And the thing is, with Booyah, he didn't beat him, but the dude was neck and neck with a rage hacker. With a rage hacker. Like his his kill, his time to kill, which was less than five minutes apart, was literally damn near faster than a fucking rage hacker, bro. Do you understand that? This guy is beating an AI. An AI. A fucking machine. Because that's what the software is. It's a fucking machine, bro. He's killing faster than an AI. That is, sign him, bro. Like, like, sign this nigga, bro. Like, why the fuck is he not signed to our team? He's calling me a COVID rat. Popped up from absolutely nowhere during the pandemic, and you guessed it. Became a full-time Twitch streamer on Warzone. Here he is. Wait. All these streamers love to do it. He quick, quickly latched onto Wagnificent, the same guy that was banned from Warzone in the engine owning bandwave. It didn't take him long to find himself a rat pedal. It also wasn't too long before the official Cronus reseller, Battle Beaver Customs came knocking. Bad Boy Continue. Beeman and the Triple B Gaming News Channel have exposed him multiple times for boosting, along with Joe Wo. If you don't know why I'm showing this, it's because he was very calm. He was very normal. There was no signs of anything. He was just literally reacting to the video, just listening to what he was saying. But if you know guilt or know when a person is lying, you would notice when the Tim part came up that he wasn't giving no eye contact to the video. Or actually, if you understand that he wasn't looking in the direction where the camera could see his eyes. When someone's feeling guilty, they don't want people to stare in their eyes. But I, but, but wait, I'm not gonna let you hear this from me. I'm gonna let you hear this from people that know what they're talking about. Fidgeting. Your fidget spinner won't be able to save you from being caught in a lie. People who aren't telling the truth tend to fidget profusely, so pay attention to their body language. They may fidget with their hands, pick at their clothing, or fiddle with nearby objects. And when people lie, their stress, tension, all of those things kind of make them a little bit more sensitive or a little bit hypersensitive, so then the nose may be triggering and they'll go like this and itch their nose and it's no problem. Now, watch cartoon characters when they make a loud swallowing sound when they are about to get caught lying. This isn't an exaggeration. A person who feels anxious may feel discomfort because the stress dries his mouth and throat. All right, so to address that there again. Um. So yeah, that's what I was talking about in the last video. When I said his body language, if you know how to read guilty body language and nervousness or people that lie, his body language was giving off that exact vibe. So the next time you want to toggle your aimbot on for your dirty content, ask yourself, is it really worth it? Yo, right here, it's like this nigga actually looked away and asked himself, was that really worth it? Like, like, look at that, bro. We play it again. It, like he looked away and was like, damn, was that really worth it? <laughs>
wrap this video up. So there you have it guys, that was exactly what Tino had to say. He's explaining the situation comparing a rage hacker to exact, both of them killing Tim the Tapman. The time frame it took for the rage hacker who was using headshot only to down Tim the Tapman seemed to be less, sorry, seemed to be longer than it took exact to actually down Tim the Tapman, even though in both occasions Tim the Tapman's health appeared to be the same. So what gives there? Is exact just better than a third party software that aims and shoots for you? Surely not. Surely that's not possible because these programs are designed to essentially be better at the game than anybody ever, right? Now of course there will be certain things that come into play that make you better than somebody using cheats if that person using cheats is in fact not good at the game in general. But if somebody's good at the game and they've got cheats in their hands, then maybe they're better than a rage hacker even if they don't have rage hack settings on. Tino makes some very valid points. He even goes into detail about how Exact reacted to the Call of Shame video, showcasing some of his mannerisms, his bodily movements, talking about how, well, comparing it to videos that have been put out, explaining about showing how somebody is lying or understanding people's mannerisms when they do lie. Okay, behaviors, mannerisms, twitches, movements, now I'm not one to talk about Twitches because we all know that I have Tourette's but there are people out there who don't but when it comes to telling lies tend to do certain things, you know, all of this. And Tino RW seems to believe that Exact showed major signs of these in his video whilst he was trying to react to the video that was put out by Call of Shame. I'll let you guys decide on that and if you do want to go and show support to Tino RW and check out his video that is linked in the description below as well guys go and check it out honestly it is a great video go and show support over there and maybe just maybe he might be able to get to the bottom of whether or not exact is in fact cheating or not if we do find out any more on this story guys we'll keep you posted here on the triple b gaming news channel so make sure you're subscribed with notifications on triple b over and out